The derived feature is fundamental to the master model workflow. It allows inserting parts, sketches, surfaces, curves, planes, or mate connectors from one part studio into another within the same document or a different document with an associative link. The derived instance is a one-way association in which modifying the original instance propagates changes to the derived instance. However, this relationship does not occur in reverse. The derived instance does not update its master. Derived is located in the Feature Toolbar. Start a new derived feature. Navigate to the sketch or part from the same document or another document. Select the sketch or part and accept the dialog. By default, OnShape inserts the derived part at the origin of the part studio. You can choose a different location by selecting Implicit or Explicit Mate Connectors in the Locations field. OnShape aligns the origin of the derived instance with the mate connector. You do not always need to use the source's origin to locate the derived instance. The location of derived parts can also be driven by aligning their explicit mate connectors. Change the placement from base origin to base mate connector. Select one of the explicit mate connectors of the derived instance to align it to the origin or a previously selected mate connector. Check include mate connectors to add any explicit mate connectors associated with the derived instance. Once included, OnShape places them in the feature list under the derived feature. To add multiple instances of the same part, add them in the same derived feature. The base mate connector selection applies to all instances of the derived part. Edit each part's location by clicking on the mate connector icon. When inserting from another document, a version is referenced. If it does not have a version, there is an option to create a version within the derived dialog. When deriving a part or sketch that resides in the same document as the active part studio, reference the workspace or a version. When referencing a workspace, any updates to the master model update instantly. When referencing a version, updates to the master model must be versioned, and the reference must be updated to the new version. The version icon indicates when there is an out-of-date reference. Click the blue notification on the version icon to update to the newer version. Choosing to reference a version is recommended whenever possible because it can speed up the performance of the overall document, and it allows you to decide when to rebuild the updates. When deriving from a sheet metal part, check the box to preserve active sheet metal models. This preserves the functionality of the sheet metal model, allowing you to leverage Onshape's full suite of simultaneous sheet metal features. When creating derived parts, it is best practice to use completed or mature parts that are less likely to be modified. For this reason, avoid deriving a part from a large part studio that will continue to be edited. It is also important not to create a chain of derived instances. Be sure to derive the original instance and not derive from an already derived instance. This ensures a robust rebuild of data. For best performance, consider deriving simple part studios or sketches instead of parts to reduce the amount of feature rebuild. Derived is a fundamental feature of the master model workflow, providing the capability to leverage layout sketches and space allocation parts.